Meet Rick Riordan, a 59-year-old man who changed the game of Greek mythology forever. Born and raised in San Antonio, Texas on June 5, 1964, Riordan was always a very imaginative and creative child. His parents encouraged him to read books by telling stories aloud to him and playing interactive games to help strengthen and explore his mind. Riordan's mom, dad, and grandparents were all teachers. His father was a former teacher, currently working as a real estate agent. His mother was an English major who then taught computer applications and graphic designing at Trinity University. After Riordan's parents' divorce in the 1970s, he was mainly raised by his mother but always had a deep respect for his father and looked up to him as a role model. He even quoted, The foundation for who I would have become was laid in those early years, watching and learning from my father. However, he really began liking to read after he discovered the Lord of the Rings trilogy and Greek and North Norse mythology in middle school, beginning his love for books. In 1978, at the age of 14, Riordan began writing short stories in his early teenage years. In 8th grade, he submitted a fantasy story he wrote for the magazine Isaac Isimov Science Fiction, only to receive a rejection letter back. This was actually the first ever rejection letter that he had received. He didn't let that discourage him. When he began school at Alameo Heights High School, he wrote and edited for his school's newspaper after being appointed the official editor, which I suppose is when the real writing passion was sparked and came to life. In 1982, Rick Riordan graduated from Alameo Heights High School and had decided to go to North Texas State University in Denton. There he went to attend a music program included at the school where he led a folk rock band. During this time in the folk rock band, he had long, thick hair and a large mustache. He soon lost his passion for music and switched his interest to literature. In order to commit to this, he transferred to the University of Texas, Austin, where he studied and double majored in English and history. While finishing up college, Rick Riordan married who would soon be Becky Riordan in 1985, someone he had been dating since his high school years and loved greatly. As of now, they have been married for 39 years. In 1986, he graduated from college and proudly got a teaching certificate and various praises of his teaching abilities, encouraging him to become a teacher. As luck would have it, Riordan then decided to begin his career as an English and social science teacher who also taught te students of Greek mythology in a public school in San Antonio. He taught there for 15 years before later moving to San Francisco Bay Area where he taught in different schools including Presidio Hill School where he taught for 8 years. Riordan did not start taking his writing passion seriously until a time while teaching at school when his students began asking him why he wasn't writing Greek mythology books because of his amazing stories that they found very fascinating and interesting. A little while later in time, Riordan and Becky had two sons together. First they had Haley Michael Riordan, who was born in 1994. Then they had Patrick John Riordan, who was born in 1998. Haley was diagnosed with ADHD and dyslexia, but overcame it and is now a fantastic writer. Rick Riordan matters for many amazing reasons. Firstly, he encouraged so many people around the world, including me, to read Greek mythology. There have been so many people who said they would not have been inspired to read and write their own Greek and Norse mythology stories without him. Rick Riordan also made a huge impact on those who have been diagnosed with disorders such as ADHD or dyslexia, as did his elder son, Haley, as said earlier. This is why I chose him. Because of Rick Riordan's best-selling series, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, which was inspired by Haley, and in fact would not have been created without him, Riordan's great impact wouldn't have been possible. It all started when Haley was a young child and had requested stories from his father at nighttime. Soon, for many nights straight, Riordan was telling Haley made up Greek mythology stories of a young boy named Percy Jackson. Percy became a strong young character that came to life and proved to be an amazing hero and demigod, even while having ADHD dyslexia, and Riordan quotes, I thought about Haley's struggle with ADHD and dyslexia. I imagined all the faces of all the students I'd taught who had these same conditions. I felt the need to honor them. Furthermore, let them know that Riordan has received many bad. awards for his Intelligence books. Wasn't always In fact, he was, was awarded the Edgar Anthony and Shamus Awards for his first full-length novel that he had ever written, titled Big Red Tequila. Those awards are the most prestigious awards in the mystery genre that there are, and, in my opinion, were well-deserved. He even had his own Disney Plus show filmed and published about Percy Jackson and his adventures, along with the various movies about Riordan that have been created throughout the years in honor of him and the amazing person that he is. With this learning I have done throughout this project, I will continue to write and read Greek mythology, as I also hope everyone else will too. Rick Riordan's career doesn't stop here, and he continues to publish more books and inspire others every day, impacting people's lives. Thank you for listening, and thank you, Rick Riordan.